This is Open Mailbox. Today I'm going to show you how to get started developing mods for a brand new game called Onset. I just happened to stumble upon Onset while I was browsing through Steam. Calling it a game is maybe not quite the right description. It's more like a toolkit for modders. If you've followed the explosion of Grand Theft Auto roleplaying on Twitch, and especially if you've developed mods for 5M, the development environment in Onset is going to feel really familiar. Um, it's like they took the experience of developing 5M mods, did their best to strip away all the things that were annoying and painful about it, and this is the result. And I've only spent a little bit of time with everything so far, but for the first day in early access, um, I'm pretty impressed as a developer about what is possible in the tools, um, and it really kind of feels like they're handing us the keys to the kingdom right here. So today we're going to do a really simple Hello World example just to get everything up and running. To get started, create a new folder any, anywhere you want and give it the name of the package that you're trying to make. So in this case, I'm going to call it Hello World. You're going to create a package.json file. Um, this is in the top level of the package, and it's going to be a manifest describing the contents of the rest of the package. Go ahead and fill out the author and the version, and then there's three different sections in the package manifest that you'll need to care about. There's server scripts, which are files that run exclusively on the server. Client scripts, obviously files that run exclusively on the client. And then there's a general files section, which can be used to reference any other type of file that you might need for your plugin. Lua scripts, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files for building UIs, MP3s, uh, any other number of things. There's uh, the different types of files that the plugins or the packages in Onset can handle is enumerated in some of the developer documentation that we'll look at a little bit later. Now, the only file we're actually going to use today is the server script. So I'm going to remove the client.lua file from the example. Next thing you're going to do is create a, another new file. Uh, this is going to be our server.lua file. And the only thing we're going to do is create a simple command. Uh, you'll be able to type slash hello in the chat, and it's going to echo back to you, hello world. So go ahead and define a function for our command. It's going to take a single argument for the player object. And then we're going to use the add chat command function to output some text to the, to the chat window. And then we just need to register our function with the server or register our command with the server, tell it the name of the function that handles the command. Once you finish coding, you're going to copy the entire hello world directory into the packages directory of your server installation. Then you're going to modify the server config and make sure that the hello world package is referenced so that the package is loaded when the server starts. Now you're ready to start the server. If everything is done correctly, you'll see a uh, you'll see a notification in the server output log as the package is loaded and starts up. Once your server is running, go ahead and open up the client, connect to localhost, and then press T and type slash hello in the chat window, and you should see your hello world message echoed right back to you. That's all there is to making a really simple package for onset. And the question is, where do you go from here? I suggest going to playonset.com, clicking on the link to the developer wiki and starting to read through all of that documentation. If you've spent any significant amount of time working on mods for other games, um, you'll, you'll love the level of documentation that they're trying to provide here. Um, full server-side, client-side, function reference, event reference, um, constants, definitions, all sorts of awesome stuff um, that you really don't get in a lot of when you're dealing with mods for a lot of other games. That's all for right now. Be sure to check out Onset on Steam. I'm really excited to see not only what the developers start producing uh, in the future here with server and game updates, but also what the community starts to produce. There's so much potential here, and I can't wait to see what everybody does with it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and check me out a few nights each week on Twitch for some random gaming and coding stuff.